Hey everyone, it's Dustin Shadow Brony, and I'm back with more Spy Fox. So, I actually did play some Spy Fox 2, so I can't remember exactly what we did last, because I didn't review the footage like an idiot, so let's see if I can. Here's. Okay, so if I remember correctly, last time we, um. Last time we planted Walter and Russian Blue's handbag, if I remember correctly. So I think we're supposed to go back to headquarters and see what we have. Ah, yep, there we hey, go. Hey, better answer my spy watch. It could be about my dry cleaning. Please stand by. Hello, Monkey Penny. What's up? Spy Fox, one of our informants, Mata Harry, has turned up some vital information you may need to complete your mission. Rendezvous with her in front of the Nectar of the Goats factory door. We interrupt this program to bring you a special spy report. Let's go to a close-up for this one, Steve. This is Walter Wireless, your undercover tracking bug, coming to you live inside the purse of Russian Blue. Just moments ago, Russian Blue ran off her boat, jumped in her sports car, and sped out of the parking lot. Do you have any idea where she's headed? We are presently speeding down what feels like a winding paved road towards an unknown location. We have just taken a sharp left, now a right. She is driving like a wildcat. I'll bring you more on this breaking story as it... Wait a minute, the car seems to be slowing down. Yes, it's come to a complete stop. I can't tell what's happening yet. Hang on. Oh no, my cover has been compromised. Mayday, mayday. For Spycore News, this is Walter Wireless signing off. Did you see that, Monkey Penny? I sure did. You better see if you can pick up his trail. Professor Quack finished his repairs on your car. I'll have it waiting for you in the town square, just behind the mobile command center. You better hurry, Spy Fox. Walt was one of our best field bugs. And don't forget about meeting up with the informant, Mata Harry, by the Feta factory. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. Okay, so I was saying, um... I did get through Spy Fox 2 again, and that's only once, so when I do it a second time it's going to be completely different. I think there are like several variations for each game, and I will be doing a recording of Spy Fox 2 and 3. The thing is with Spy Fox 3, I actually have never played it, so I can be the idiot who is having problems with the kids game and has no idea what to do. And you can all laugh at me and make fun and do whatever you want. Monkey Penny said to meet Mata Harry here. I wonder where she's hiding. The rain in Spain stays mainly on the plain. Because the drain in Spain is clogged up with grain. Hello, Agent Fox. Hi, Mata Harry. What do you have for me? I intercepted what I think may be some sort of coded password, but I have no idea what it means. I'm sure it's important, though. All right, let's hear it. It goes like this. The happy fat boy. What a curious phrase. I'm sure you'll figure it out, Agent Fox. You always do. That's like true. Important. I do. All right, I got to go chase down another lead. Ta-ta. Thanks, Mata. A hiding place like that must be really draining for her. Alright, so then we just need to go back to I think we need to go back to headquarters first, or we can just go directly in the spy car. Let's see. I need to follow the trail Walter left for me on the spy radar. Actually during this, don't ask why, but I always screwed up as a kid. Right. Take another break. And then we take this back. And then we take another break. There. Yep, so far so good. Ah, and then we take this slower path down there, I think. If I screw this up, I can feel really stupid. Uh, then we go across there. Look 
at that. We didn't screw up. This was probably a nice place until someone came along and ruined it. I'm right over here, Spy Fox. Walter, what happened? Where did Russian Blue go? Sorry, Spy Fox. My cover was compromised. I thought I was going to get squashed there for a second, but luckily she dropped me and ducked into a secret passageway. I need to bug out of here. She mentioned something about an exterminator, and I don't have my gas mask. Yeah, you'd better get going. Thanks for your help, Walt. My pleasure. Until next time, this is Walter Wireless signing off. And that's the way it is. Uh, so I think he's like the happy fat boy, right? The happy fat boy. That's odd. The Greeks didn't use hieroglyphics. Wait a second. I recognize it now. It's the ancient hieroglyphic language of the infamous Minoan Musaka cult. My Musaka hieroglyphic reading is a little rusty, but I know I can figure this out. So this symbol six. stands for happy. Happy. This must be a part of some sort of secret password or code phrase. And then we do fat. This symbol means fat. And then boy. It will be easy to get the skinny on this hieroglyphic. Oh, that's it boy. means skinny. Well, that didn't work. Happy. Fat. Skinny. Oh, 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 I see, I see, okay, Happy. I'm a fucking idiot, wow, I just fucked up a kid's game. No, Fat. don't make fun of me, don't judge me, I can feel your judging eyes this on me. This symbol means boy. Oh, keto. Looks like this secret passage isn't so secret anymore. Okay, let's pretend that never happened. Okay, so if I run correctly, uh, we need to go back to the headquarters again. Alright, so let's just go back. I'm trying to think about what else we would need. But, uh, good thing is we can actually skip over this, so. Don't have to worry too much, just Alright, so we need this. What handsome cufflinks! Are they gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction cufflinks. I am very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across non-porous metal surfaces. The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spa. Mmm, that was a tasty one. Um, I'm trying to think what else we need, but I don't think there is. Well, I know we don't need this anymore, so I'm just gonna put that back. I'm sure glad this spy gadget vending machine doesn't have a no deposit, no return policy. Okay, I, I, let me just take what we need for now, because I don't even know what we need in this very later, so... Let's go back, then we'll need suction couplings to get across that. Well, they saw let's just... Alright, so, like this... These suction couplings should help me form a closer attachment to this wall. See, the problem I had with this was I'm really bad at timing and stuff, so when I have to do something like this, then... Oh, this is that. no time. I'll leave my section I couplings made it here in case I need to make a fast down. getaway later. Bad guys are mean. Whoops, I, I asked myself, 
If I were an evil, twisted, misguided, egotistical supervillain, where would I put my secret fortress? I forgot he says things too. All of this. Like, there's some things I guess you can object, but I don't think there's anything. Alright, so let's head through here. I'd better let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. As smooth as sandpaper underpants. I just got into Kid's Secret Fortress. Excellent. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. See what I want to I want to record. I actually am recording 60 frames per second. Um, but there is an issue that uh, Camtasia Studio, the software I use, actually doesn't work in 60 frames per second. And the reason why you saw 60 frames per second record is because I uploaded the raw unedited footage. Well, I need a Sony Vegas Pro, but I can't afford that. I already spent my money on Camtasia Studio a while ago. And plus, I need a new computer because this one's starting to have problems. Okay, I'll stop talking and just get out of it. I know this is gonna fail, but. I'm just doing this, as you can see. That thing is not only giving me the eye, it gave me the boot. I'd better look for a uniform. In case it wasn't obvious, you get a uniform. Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. I know. Where is my homework? Stuff. It changes each time, so you be really silly with these things. A yellow jumpsuit! I'll bet this is the official Nectar of the Goats uniform. No one would recognize me in one of these. Yeah, totally not. Now actually what we're going to do is we're going to open up a shortcut. Now this we're also going to have to remember. So, left, right, left, up, down, I can remember that. It's a secret passageway! What a clever secret entrance! William the Kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to open I'd up better this leave door. this door unlocked in case I need to get back in here later. Now we opened up that shortcut, we can go back. And you guys actually have some fun with these if you want. This is the last place in the world I expected to see an original Van Gogh painting. Oh, we're going to need these. Okay. I see now. Hmm. American Gothic. Normally, if these. It would lose another playthrough, then um, these would you would just interact them to have them do funny animations, but you can't do that in this one because these ones you could just have, actually have to use the paintings or something. So. Let's just like this. Like this. Yeah. Obviously, we need jumpsuits, so let's put them on. Uh oh, someone's coming. I'd better hide. Left, right, left, up, down. I'm out of here. Solid five. Installed on my PS4. Having PS Plus is great. So that's the dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Ms. Blue, take this piece of paper from the easel in my office. It has the location of the punch card written on it. You must destroy it. That punch card is the only thing that can disarm the milky weapon of destruction now. Right away, your imperial goatness. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. 
It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. I need to get my hands on that punch card he mentioned. Alright, so we need to go back to his office, but first, let's take care of this. This looks exactly like that diagram over in the locker room. Now, I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. It's left, right, left, up, down. Now, as you can see, we can actually go up here, but I want to check out some other places first. Now, see, here is This must be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the milky weapon of destruction. I should let Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the milky weapon of destruction is right here. Great. Now all you'll have to do is find the missing punch card so you can disarm the milky weapon of destruction. Right. That shouldn't be too difficult. Spy Fox out. So if I remember correctly, the punch card is um, it's surrounded by a hole. And then just go up. This must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kid's Fortress. Let's try going here first. I don't know which variation this is, so... Alright, with these three guys here, we're going to need to go back to Spy Headquarters and get that nickel gadget. But we all explore a bit more first. Hot butter! There's Kid's giant milk carton! Unless there's nothing here. Look, there's actually something here. It looks like a billboard! But, um, there's nothing we can do with that about it. So we need to head back to Spy Headquarters. And then we need to pick up the Nickel Gadget. So we're gonna go and do that now. I've been itching to take this jumpsuit off. I think whomever this belonged to had fleas. Oh, that's real pleasant. Oh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what other gadgets we need. I don't think. Uh, yeah, I just want to take this one. I really don't remember what happened in this playthrough. So, um. I'm going to need this. Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's the spy trap. Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemy. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. <laughs> I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. So, I have, no, I have to wait for three more. Is it possible that there could be more gadgets? Because one, two... Actually, what I can do now is I can just put everything in my inventory because... It appears to be a shoe. What is this left, gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most ingenious inventions. Yeah, you won't look weird at all. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your head, and then you can see in the dark. How illuminating. <laughs> yes, and it has excellent arch support. Alright, so we actually have two more spaces and two more gadgets. One of which we don't need anymore, but we're gonna grab anyway. Just in case I don't remember correctly. Right? Mmm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works, because it's very scientific and complicated. Trust me when I say it works like a charm. And it tastes great in soup. 
<laughs> yeah, and this paper isn't half bad. That's the X-ray gum. And after that, then we have all the gadgets, and we don't have to worry about having to go back to Spy Headquarters to pick up extra gadgets, because we have everything. So, we're going to go back up here. Now, didn't she say something about a shredder, so, actually... Grande Fromaggio? Oh, right. Italian for the big cheese. How droll. Okay, guys, so we can't pick you up just yet, so let's... Oh, that's not... Oh, right, because it's not kids' office. I, mean... I guess every hero needs a uniform. This just isn't the one I pictured myself in. And then we have to capture those three bad guys. And obviously we use this, so let's go. There's one sound the ear can hear better than any others. The sound of falling money. They should get a tickle from this nickel. If they go that crazy over a nickel, I wonder what they get paid. Well, they are working a super villain, so I'd assume their pay must be really awful. Hey! What happened? We're trapped! He tricked us! This isn't good at all! Let us down from here! Sorry, folks. I'm on a mission. Alright, so then let's go to the end. This is his office. Oh, this must be Kid's secret volcano office. I should take a look around. This, this must be the paper William the Kid mentioned. Now, can I get the location of that punch card? Ah, ha ha! Let's do this now. So it's Van Goat, Green, Red, Blue. Alright, I think I remember now. It would be silly not to snoop around Kid's office. I'll come back here later. around with that. Okay, um, then go green, red, blue. Let's see if I can remember that. to be caught out of uniform. But then again, I hate to be caught in general. Alright, so we're actually gonna go through here. I may have been wrong about the trinkets, by the way. This is a Van Gogh, right? The brush strokes of a real Van Gogh painting are vibrant and distinctive. These strokes look like they're having a stroke. This seems to be some sort of multicolored lock mechanism. I think it's red, green, blue, if I remember correctly. A real Van Gogh would be worth millions. No, I wouldn't give Kid a bus token for this one. Red, blue, green, then. 
I should arrest this painting for being a forgery. Of course, it'll probably claim it was framed. What? I thought it was red, green, blue. Okay, well, obviously I remembered it wrong, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and skip all these animations. You Just so. Okay, so I'm an idiot. I remembered it wrong. Oh, green, red, blue. Okay, then. Wow, okay. I not Please don't comment on how I'm feeling at a kid's game. Please don't. I hope the owner of. Okay, so green, red, blue, I remember now. I should arrest it. Now that's a button of a different color. Aha! A secret wall safe. What an original hiding place. And then we have the safe cracker. This season safe cracker kit should do the trick. Couple more steps, and I'm in. That doesn't seem to be the right number. No, I'm hitting nine. It's almost criminal how easy this is going to be now. Okay, this seems to be working. Nine. I've almost got a good spy. Close, but wrong number. A good spy never gives up. Four. I'll. I've almost got this thing figured out. Let me try what? another what the number. No, 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 no. Wrong number. Let no, me try another I'm one. I'm not failing. It's kid, kids' game. Shut up. This seems to be working. Nine. That doesn't seem to be the right number. This seems How to be working. How the hell are you supposed to turn this thing? Nine. Close, but no bubblegum cigar. I'm going to a good spy never gives up. This seems to be working. I'll Nine. try again. One more to go. I'm in! Jesus Sometimes I am amazing Christ, myself. That was annoying. Those must be the punch cards. Which one do I need? This one, obviously. I wonder if this punch card will work. Please don't comment about how. I better much close the safe. I, I don't want anyone to suspect that it's been tampered with. I'm ashamed of myself. I I'm so ashamed of myself. Oh no! Kid we don't, is. We don't. We go here. And then we use this on this. I hope this is the right punch card. Once again, I've saved the world from a horrible, or in this case, smelly, fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Not so fast, my crafty friend. You may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction. But I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cows. It's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call me Billy. It's William. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. When I pull this lovely lever, the cow's stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. That's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, 
I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp, where I will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. Delicious? You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one, if you think you can save the cows. Adios, Mr. Fox. And good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Our stupid door. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now all I have to do is find that ascot. Alright, so it's fairly obvious where it is in case you out. I mean there it is the way across. Let's go here. That's Kid's ascot. This must be the secret passageway to the stables where Kid is holding the cows. I'd better hurry. Alright, so we actually can't go across yet, but I'm going to show you what happens if we try. This should be easy. Uh-oh. I can't swim past these alligators. They're looking at me like I'm bait. Alright, so what we actually have to do is we have to go back. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the animations so because guys have seen I've made an going to get really old. So we're actually gonna go down here. And we're gonna actually have to ask about this. Chicken knuckles to go. Those look interesting. Honey! They're so bad. We're required by law to serve them to go. After you eat some, you have to go. If you know what I mean. So, what does the traditional Greek food taste like? I don't know. It's all Greek to me. Ah, uh, we had to order it. It's where to I didn't know chickens have knuckles, B. You've obviously never been hit square in the jaw by a ticked off chicken from Kentucky. How the hell do we order them? Is it dark? Oh. Here's where I keep my spot. So, I have some. Oh, right, I have to use money on it. Okay. Why don't you give me one order of chicken knuckles to go? It's your funeral, honey. Oh, okay then. Oh, the grease in the suit! Grease in the suit! Why would he do that? Okay, let's use this. Secret sauce may cause drowsiness in alligators. So, we obviously use this with this. Absolutely. It Marvelous. says, secret sauce. Do I dare be? You tell me, spy guy. Just gonna skip all the animations again because everyone's already seen it. We go over here and then we use this on the. All right, let's see how the chicken knuckles seasoned with secret sauce affect the gators. The secret sauce is putting them to sleep. An alligator skin bridge. See you later, alligator. The kidnapped dairy cows. I've found them. Hang on, everyone. My name is Spy Fox, and I'll rescue you shortly. Continue treading milk, and I'll be right there. So we just hit I hereby it. declare you free range cows.
think you won, spy fox. But you're wrong. Go ahead, free the cows this time. But I'll be back to milk the world yet again. And then we always have to stop that. So. <laughs> Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another escaped goat. So we need to stop quickly. Let's do that really quickly. Think fast, right. Fox. This road ends just ahead. And the ramp. This'll eject me right onto Kid's Blimp. Yeah, yeah. Now that was an entrance. I'd better check in with Monkey Penny. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox. Have you found William the Kid yet? I'm on his escape blimp now. Professor Quack says he can see you on the radar. Spy Fox, you can't let William the Kid get away. But what about the sequel? There are other supervillains out there. We'll be fine. That's true. What should I do when I nab him? We've already set up a mobile evil villain jail. Monkey Penny, do you have the coordinates for the evil villain jail? Yes. The coordinates are 4 degrees south, 10 degrees west. You need to fly the blimp over it. I'll transmit the coordinates to the spy watch in case you need to look at them again. Now I need to maneuver this ghastly blimp to that location. I'll get that dastardly it's villain. We don't need this, so I'm just gonna grab that now. Looks like someone didn't finish their lunch. Well, you never know when you might need a piece of stale rye bread. And sucks so if you enjoyed clicking on this kid. This too. An electric screwdriver set. This could come in handy. You never know when you might need to drive some screws somewhere. Then we had to. This looks like some sort of conveyance between the front and the back of Kid's Blimp. I haven't seen a tube like this since I. Um, I don't. Oh, Ray, I don't think we can do that. Just yet, so, um. This reminds me of my high fly. That looks like the entrance to the front of Kid's overblown blimp. I've got to get over there. I hope this old rust bucket with wings is airworthy. This must be the control room for Kid's diabolical getaway blimp. Okay, so what we need to see is the actual... A navigation panel. Now I can use the coordinates Monkey Penny sent me via the spy watch to maneuver this dastardly contraption over the evil villain jail. Then I can finally put William the Kid where he... Now I just need to find a way to get Kid out of this blimp and into evil villain jail. So let's actually go here. Aha! The ejection seat controls must be here. I can finally throw Kid into evil villain jail. We obviously need to undo it. That did the trick. I love how Kid does like notice hmm. any of this. What an all. interesting device. It's just like the toaster we have back at Spy Core Cafeteria. And changing the toastiness or whatever you want to call it. A piece of rye bread might do the trick. And then we go like this. 
My trap is set. I'd better hurry. And that's that. What's going on? The blimp is changing course. Sorry, kid. I have a little errand I need to run. Hmm? What? Spy Fox? I'm really getting tired of your meddling in my dairy domination plans. Yes, well, I do have a tendency to show up and ruin evil villains' schemes. I just thought I'd toast your accomplishment before you go. See, it doesn't go. What do you mean by that? Bad. There was only one parachute. Ooh, that looked painful. I guess Kid will be serving up his goat byproducts in evil villain jail from now on. I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. Jeez, there's a hole in the friggin' roof. You can just play that. Fox! You'll pay for this. I'll be back! No jail can hold William the Kid. <sighs> Later that day, Walter Wireless here with our top story. Spy Fox has saved the dairy starved nations of the world right, so from a near disastrous standing. milk shortage. Today at the Capitol, the president is honoring Spy Fox as the nation's new hero. We now go live to the presidential press room where the ceremony is already in progress. For outstanding heroism and suaveness in the face of utter dairy chaos, and for bringing the nefarious William the Kid to justice, I award you, Spy Fox, our nation's highest honor. May I present you with the Big Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. Why, thank you, Mr. President. It was a routine mission, really. Three cheers for Spy Fox. I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk? And that's that. That is literally all there is to this episode. I'm going to be recording Spy Fox too soon. I'm really tired. I feel sick. I need sleep. Even though I just woke up from sleep, I just feel so sluggish. I don't know why. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. Until next time, Dusk Shadow Brony, out.